Uh, item 6B, discussion consideration of past possible action on the petition of Michael Easter to dis annex 13.66 acres located at 1932 North Highway 144 from the city of Glen Rose. Mr. Heath. Okay, if you can uh, turn, uh, if Terry can get about slide 21 there. Let's go to the next one. Okay, this little sliver of land uh, was originally uh, annexed in about the same time that the county all around it and the golf course annexed. And we do have a larger map. I don't know if we have that map in your packet. I believe it is. Yes, I believe it was. Okay, there's a larger map as well. Okay, it is on the left side. It is, it is touching um, 144. Uh, Mr. Uh, Mr. Easter is here, I believe. Yeah. Uh, okay. Uh, and uh, the catch you your uniform. <laughs> uh, he owns the two smaller portions of this single house. And if we read state law, this is one of those annexations that does not demand a uh, a vote. I guess I'm sorry, vote does not demand a petition, does not demand anything more than sparsely populated. And I believe I had that in the, in the packet as well. That's uh, uh, what, 43 point, uh, And uh, uh, it is totally left to the council's discretion if this would be advantage, disadvantage, or beneficial to the citizen. Uh, they have brought this in uh, to the city limits they, with a partnership in such a way, assuming that they would uh, divide this into smaller smaller houses along the golf course. The partner pulled out, decided not to do it, and uh, Mr. Easter and Mr. Galloway, I believe it's a father-in-law, yes. uh, have, have held this and paid our taxes, and we have not uh, extended the sewer to it. There is an agreement. Uh, the the uh, uh, ordinance that we that was originally written on this. And I don't think we put all that in there. Yes. 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 It is. Yeah. The, the full ordinance, and then an ordinance to this annex. This is one of those things you can you can legally do it either way. Uh, uh, and I believe Terry helped me on this that. Uh, we wrote the taxation that's reflected from the city portion through the years, and then what is normal, and Terry knows more of this than I do, uh, that they usually refund the one year. Uh, I don't know that. Okay. Okay. I was just learning this. This is new to me. Uh, I'm just reading the local government code that's specific that you are allowed to say yay or nay on this, and it's, it's a fairly simple thing. And since Mr. Easter is here, uh, if he wishes to, to reaffirm and speak for a moment or answer questions. Like, like I said, I, I, we, me and my father-in-law have owned this property. This property has been part of my wife's family for many years. Oh, yes, ma'am. This property has been part of my wife's family for many years. Uh, as a matter of fact, the front acre, the small acre you see up front, I acquired it from the guy who had done the investment. He had initially bought it from my wife's grandfather. And I, I purchased it so that he would not put a store up there or something like that. I didn't want nothing like that up there. Initially, it was supposed to have been divided into housing with, uh, at the time, Mr. Glenn Wilson in the Evergreen uh, thing. And I guess when it's been seven, eight years ago when the housing fell apart around here, that, that the backer backed out of it. And we have not received anything from the city, you know, to benefit me in, in any way. And I don't see y'all running a sewer out there for one person, you know. And like I said, I'm fixing a refence and put some goats on it, you know. And that's what I would like, you know. And, I, and like I said, I've been paying city taxes on it for all these years, and we've not receive any kind of benefit from it. Okay. Any questions, Councilor? Councilor Williams? Mr. Easter. Yes, ma'am. Um, I understand where you're coming from. Yes, ma'am. But are you asking for the, the city 
to uh, reimburse you for No, ma'am. No, ma'am. No, ma no, ma no, no, that's not my question, but I know there are people out there. No, ma'am. No, ma I, I all mean, like all I you said, want is your land back. All I want is my land back in before I don't have to pay future taxes on it. No, I, I'm not asking for anything back. Okay. I wouldn't get anything. I wouldn't have it. No, ma'am. <laughs> <laughs> Any other questions? This is number 12 down here, and this is number 13. Yeah, that's the same other. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> Y'all need golf balls by any chance? <laughs> <laughs> I can hook you up. Don't look at those, Sam. Any comments from any citizens regarding this matter? All right, then. Do I have a motion? to approve ordinance 17.03.03C is annexing the, it's 13, and sorry, it's point 13C. Point 17.03.13? Yes. Okay. C? Yes. I have a motion from Councilman Jones. I have a second from Councilwoman Ramsey. Councilman Mitchell? Yes. Councilwoman Ramsey? Yes, ma'am. Councilman Moore? Yes. Councilman Jones? Yes. Motion passes 4 0 in favor. Thank you very much. Thank you. I got to go vote. All right. <laughs>